Hello everyone. Today we are going to understand an interesting discipline that is gaining a huge recognition in the field of science. It is called as bioinformatics. Now, what is bioinformatics? As we can see here, the use of computational methods to analyze the large biological data set. It is an interdisciplinary field of science. By this word, it is understood that the information technology that has been applied to understand the biological sciences for the use of research and development or in the application of computational tools and approaches to expand the use of biological, environmental, medical, health, behavioral data, including those to acquire or store, organize, archive, analyze, or visualize such data, bioinformatics has contributed immensely. Now, if you can see here, the need of bioinformatics came from the large and the massive data sets generated from biosciences study or biological research work, which required storage, analysis, and management. So we can see here from this diagram that it combines several disciplines such as biology, computer sciences, statistics, chemistry. But how? Let us understand that. It combines biology and computer sciences. This is very obvious. Now, information technology applied in biology. It is also found that bioinformatics that applies biology as many researchers studies uh, on a different biological system like vertebrates, invertebrates, virus, bacteria, mammals, etc. It includes the knowledge of chemistry to understand the molecular makeup of the molecules and the chemicals or the structural conformation or to understand the reactions inside an organism. If a study needs to develop a drug against a disease condition, bioinformatics tools are very helpful. When such research studies generate large data, it becomes very unmanageable at times. Biological data such as genetic sequences, cell population, or protein samples need to be analyzed or identified, predicted, or interpreted using such computational tools and methods. And thus, computer science comes into play. Thus, the potential uh, way to validate a study to bring uh, significance of the results or draw any conclusion, uh, that's where statistics gives us support. Therefore, we can see now from this diagram that uh, bioinformatics as an interdisciplinary field of science that encompasses all these fields of sciences to solve the problems faced by the molecular biologist. Now, where bioinformatics help? Bioinformatics play a major role from literature search to performing uh, in silico experiments that elucidate pathways for biological experiments through data analysis in large scale, leading to novel discoveries. Now, for example, literature or uh, or any article or sequences of an organism when you search online with the help of different databases, that is an excellent example of bioinformatics. Now databases that can be text or literature, or biological or composite are designed by computerized software or algorithms to update, query, retrieve components of the data stored within the system, which makes the work much, much easier. Now, life science is gradually being dominated by big data. Two important large-scale activities that uses bioinformatics are genomics and proteomics, as we can see here. Now, to understand genomics and proteomics, let us speak about a few lines on genomics. It means, genomic, it means that uh, the analysis of genomes. A genome is the complete set of DNA sequences that codes for the hereditary material which is passed from generation to generation. These DNA sequences include genes, the transcripts, uh, and uh, that are included in the uh, genome. Thus, the genomics refer to the sequencing and analysis of all these genomic 
entities, including genes and the transcripts in an organism. Proteomics, on the other hand, refers to the analysis of the complete set of proteins or the proteome. In addition to genomics and proteomics, there are many more biological fields or the areas in biology where bioinformatics is being applied. To answer the question about where exactly bioinformatics help, let us see an example. Now this is a typical bioinformatics pipeline which will include the genomic material that can be taken directly from an environmental sample or from an organism which will be subjected or, uh, to sequencing and then will be processed using assembly, gene prediction or gene annotation tools. Finally, the findings are shared between the scientific groups around the world. Now, uh, if we take an, another example, uh, let's say similarly in case of proteomics. Now, this is an integrated proteomic workflow that shows that uh, to answer the hypothesis or any biological question, data generated from the resulting, elect, uh, resulting peptides uh, that are electrosprayed into a mass uh, spectrometer needs analysis, quantification, assembly, and eventually functional analysis of the differential proteins uh, to understand the pathways. Such in silico experiments are possible with the help of several uh, web-based algorithms and different approaches uh, that are present in bioinformatics to systematically study all the proteins in a cell or to understand their subsequent functional annotation leading to the pathways of research. Uh, with this, uh, I would also like to say that uh, uh, bioinformatics also play a major role in other fields of research, such as experimental molecular biology, genetics and genomics, analysis of gene and protein expression, comparison of genomic data, taxonomy and phylogenetic analysis, and also in, in simulation and modeling of DNA, RNA, and protein. With this, let us see what the different areas of bioinformatics that can be applied. The completion of human genome project and the use of bioinformatic tools mean that we can search for genes directly associated with different diseases and begin to understand the molecular basis of these diseases more clearly. There are so many different areas where we can see the use of bioinformatics, such as structural bioinformatics for the prediction of macromolecular 3D structures, um, understanding the protein folding and misfolding mechanism, which may lead to disease. Again, analysis of NGS, which we call as next generation sequencing data. Now, handling NGS data has never been easy. MicroRNA has great implication in the development of various diseases, particularly cancer, anemia, or to name it a few. With the advent of NGS sequencing, the amount of data on microRNA has increased enormously. This is one of the emerging fields in bioinformatics. Um, another field we can say is phylogenetics, where uh, predicting the evolutionary relationship among the set of organisms. Then we have clinical medicine, uh, which has become more personalized with the development of pharmacogenomics. The study of individual genetic inheritance affect the body's response to drugs. In the field of drug design and de delivery, where a good understanding of the disease mechanism and pathogenicity and design of drugs based on the biological target is required, bioinformatics has made everything very, very possible. Now in personalized or preventive or molecular medicine, the knowledge of molecular mechanism of disease has enabled better treatments, cures, and even help in developing preventive, uh, preventive tests. From this slide, we can also see another field of bioinformatics that has contributed immensely is the insect resistance and crop improvement. The ability of the plants to resist insect attack means the amount of insecticides being used that can be reduced and hence the nutritional quality of the crops can be restored or it can be increased. Analyzing and comparing the genetic material of different species is an important method for studying the function of genes. 
disease inheritance, species evolution, and such studies are possible by the use of bioinformatics. In a nutshell, we can say there are so many emerging fields from microbial research to gene therapy, from climatic change studies to forensic analysis, bioinformatics has contributed immensely. Now, many of you might have a question, how does bioinformatics work? Software tools, yes. Bioinformatics range from simple command line tools to complex graphical programs and standalone web services available from various bioinformatics company or public institutions. There are various bioinformatics software used to predict the results of wet lab experiments like structure determinations by simulations of macromolecules, which can save time. And for uh, performing calculations of bond angle, bond length, torsion angle, knowing the chemical interactions, etc., including the efficient maintenance of macromolecular databases. The computational biology tool best known among biologists is probably the BLAST, which is basic local alignment search tool an algorithm for determining the similarity of sequences against each other or other sequences, uh, possibly from curated database of proteins or DNA sequences. Likewise, there are other tools like FASTA, which is a sequence alignment software package. Then we have FASTLW for local and global alignment, Orthodox tools uh, for automated docking tools, then we have GOMAX, which is a molecular dynamic package uh, mainly designed for simulation of proteins, lipids, and nucleic acids. And there are many more. The tools of computer science, statistics, and mathematics are very critical for studying biology as an informational science subject. One should have a training to gain knowledge and expertise on bioinformatics. The tool and approaches gives uh, updated regularly with advancement and uh, requirement of research to implement computational solutions based on theoretical framework uh, that allow scientists to perform complex inferences about the phenomenon under study. This might have answered uh, how uh, your question on how has uh, been bioinformatics helping. But I would also like to show you uh, a very uh, important aspect that use of bioinformatics tool and data analysis can be carried out using a personal desktop computer with a decent amount of uh, RAM size and thus bioinformatics has gained a huge attention. Now let us talk about the importance of this interdisciplinary science. If we speak from biology perspective, we have that availability of huge biological information, which calls for an urgent need for effective uh, access, use, and management of the information. If we see from the computer science perspective, development of computational methods for identification, prediction, analysis with computational tool. Besides, bioinformatics reduces time and energy, and even money also, as we can as we it's. It's very obvious that computers are very faster than manual work, and it has a global perspective for experimental design. With this, I would like to conclude that the confluence of biology in computer science, the, com the computer applications of molecular biology are drawing a greater attention among the life science researchers and scientists these days to accomplish the ever-growing computational requirements of a host of exciting and newly biological problems, the synergy between modern biology and computer science will grow in the days to come. Thus, the research scope for uh, all the mathematical techniques and algorithms coupled together with software programming languages, software development and deployment tools are to get a real boost. Thus, we can say that bioinformatics is growing uh, wider and wider and drawing on great attention among the scientific researchers. With this, I hope this was very helpful to you. Thank you.